Let's turn from there to how the Manipur violence is impacting neighboring Mizoram. Today, thousands of people took part in a solidarity march in Mizoram's capital, Aizol, to explain, express solidarity with the violence hit Kuki tribals of Manipur and demanded that central and Manipur government restore peace and normalcy at the earliest. Mizoram is experiencing the blowback of what's happening in Manipur. The Manipur tragedy is creating ripples across Northeast. Thousands took out protest rallies across Mizoram on Tuesday in solidarity with the Kuki Zomi tribal community. The video of uh, Kuki women being subjected to torture and sexual assault has triggered very, very sharp and angry reactions here across the border in Mizoram with uh, a massive protest call being given by the Young Mizo Association. Anger over the violence unleashed on women in Manipur during the ethnic clashes was evident at the march. That Arunachali girl, that beautiful one, she asked the Prime Minister to give priority to the women of India instead of the cow. Cow are more precious here in India than women. It is not fair. We cried, we bled, we're still bleeding. We are still bleeding. We are all bleeding. Chief Minister Zoram Thanga, ministers and MLAs cutting across party lines took part in the protest rally in Aizwal, organized by civil society groups. It needs a thorough investigation and a thorough uh, solution. I believe that both the government of Manipur as well as the government of India has to try their level best for the solution of this. There is a fear among the Metis living in Mizoram after an organization of former militants advised them to be cautious. Many have returned to Manipur. The situation is, uh, is good, no problem. Actually, according to the notice, we are a little feel, uh, scared about the situation. That is why we thought that better to come back in our state. The ethnic clashes in Manipur have sharpened the divide between communities in the northeast. The challenge for the government is to ensure that the tensions don't spill over to the other states. With Indrajit Kundu in Aizwal and Ritik Mondal in Imphal, Bureau Report, India Today. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening when data politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.